and I'm also recording because I also want to talk about this in the super salty hour. Maybe this won't, won't take an hour, but I'll give you. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So let me give you the gist of this. That's a disrespect thing. So basically, um, that's a disrespect was the top uh, Twitch streamer um, until his ban. Mm. Um, it's his ban in uh, June 2024 20, years ago. Um, no one didn't know what he was banned for. Neither did he. He found out later and took Twitch to trial over it. And they end up settling. What ended up happening is he did nothing wrong and Twitch paid out his two year contract, which were like seven figures. Dang. So, no one didn't know what exactly was the situation, and mainly everything just kind of just went away. He, and interestingly enough, uh, I believe he got unbanned from Twitch and he decided that he never, was never going to stream on Twitch ever again. That was like it. Yeah. Um, his uh, career had not been the same since. Mm. He, of course, you know, with the permanent ban, the permanent ban on Twitch, it pretty much hurt his... Uh, brand with companies like Activision and all that because they cut deals and ties with him all together. Uh, now, up until, um, I guess, Friday, you know, because he's not on the news like that anymore. Um, he ain't, he's not the biggest streamer on the planet. He's on YouTube. All, obviously, that stuff hurt uh, his bottom line, but he's still doing a streaming thing, but he's not in the news like he was in 2020. Um... Someone uh, from who used to work at Twitch said that, um, while well, saying his name, that he got banned for uh, sexing and talking to a minor on, um, which I didn't know Twitch had this, uh, the Twitch uh, messaging app Whispers, which is on the app. So everyone speculated and pretty much uh, assumed it was him. Um, and, you know, long story short, um, it was him, um, because he came out and admitted, like, yes, um, this did happen, and he just left it at that, and then, you know, other companies cut ties with him, including the company he co-founded, which was odd, because they were like, oh yeah, we did our investigation, and then, I think every news outlet was like, huh? It's like, well, the shit came out Friday evening. It's now Monday afternoon or Monday morning. What investigation did you got to do in 48 hours to come to this conclusion? But he ended up telling his side of the story. But, um, but basically, um, because... And this and this is from a tweet, an ex, uh, from a former Twitch uh, employee. And they didn't really give too much detail other than, oh, he was uh, sexing and talking to a minor. Um, which I think one, a, one part, the sexing part, wasn't a thing. Now, now you probably, now you're probably saying to yourself, okay. Oh, you know, Twitch just signed to a contract, and yeah, it makes sense why they ban him. What doesn't make sense is the time frame. So, and so the time frame is this: he got banned in 2020 for this conversation that he had with so-called minor. Mm -hmm. The conversation happened in 2017. Okay. And um, and and. And according, to, and that's the thing. According to even the sources, all he did was have conversations. There is no paper trail. There's no evidence. There's no log or no transcripts. There's no timeline. There's no 
we don't even know who the person is. This person is probably a, if they were a minor, they are already adult right now. And on top of that, on top of that, with all the things that presented, yeah, there's not enough, there's not enough information to say, oh, this person was a minor. You know what I'm saying? Because supposedly he talked with this person and they made plans to meet up at TwitchCon. Okay. But that never happened. In fact, nothing happened. In fact, this uh, situation is pretty vague. And the only information there is about it is that supposedly he talked to a minor. Uh, now, it's understandable that, like, all right, you talked to a minor, but I think he didn't, if, from what it seemed like, because when the allegation came out, he admitted that he pretty much said that he didn't do nothing wrong, which is the possibility that he probably didn't even know this person was a minor. But at the same time, since everybody's pretty vague, it's like it don't exist. Because since it's the internet, since he never met the person, and since this was something that happened in 2017, and it didn't come around to 2020, it is it like even this could be like a catfish. There's not enough information to make judgment. So right now everyone's kind of going kind of wild over it. He came out with a statement saying, "Yeah, this happened, but." I never met the person. I never seen the person. I don't even know what they look like. And this is also during the time period, I believe, when there was, um, I guess, a cheating allegation scandal uh, he had. So, mm. yeah. So, and this is why this whole thing is a lot of people trying to make sense of it because people heard rumors and um, it's kind of hard to talk about something when there's no like concrete evidence, especially when it don't exist anymore, and especially when it happened damn near a decade ago. So right now, like you know, he lost some more endorsement deals and all that stuff because he was still getting that stuff, like with Turtle Beach and all that. Yeah. Um, and he lost studio, but the confusing part is. Uh, all that on this and the reason the reason why I say it's scary is because so when this happened in 2020 this was doing the me too uh era and a lot of big twitch personalities may most all men actually not not just when yeah all men got caught up in the situation where they abused their powers some of them um uh, were were basically working with Twitch and pretty much uh, helping, supposedly helping females out to boost their careers by having uh, sexual relations with them, as well as prominent streamers, some of them doing some pedophilia shit, as well as abusing their power with, like, you know, other streamers, other female streamers, just to help them get ahead and get some ass at the same time. Um, so, when, yeah... Yeah, that was happening in 2020. Mm, so, yeah, and so when Twitch did it themselves, mm. or when Twitch decided to ban him, um, then they never said anything. And it kind of made sense why they just permanent banned him, but it's kind of weird because they permanent banned him, banned him over, you know, basically speculation. Because... Even now, the person who supposedly was said minor never came out. But, you know, a year prior at TwitchCon, this dude took, like, a camera into, like, the men's bathroom when there was children walking in doing TwitchCon. And, you know, potentially filming minors pissing. Well, you're not supposed to film in an area with nudity anyway. Kind of like why you're not supposed to be in the locker room like people be naked sometimes. Yes. And while he got banned for that, it right. apparently wasn't enough to get a permanent ban, which that doesn't make sense in my view. Yeah. You 
should probably know not to do that. Oh, yes, but at the same time, it's Twitch. Everybody's into doing the shock and all and all that stuff for views and yada, yada, yada. Well, it seems like you kind of have to these days to get any sort of attention. Yes. Like, nothing's really new or shocking anymore. Yes. But, uh, but this story is pretty much a shock. Um, it's not shocking that, um, what, what makes it shocking is there's very little to no information because usually when, um, a t- like a streamer get caught up in these types of situation, there's like a lot of paper trail. There's a lot of evidence like is without a doubt, like, oh yeah, this person Oh, yeah, they know what they did. Here's the laws. Like, you know, months and months of laws, screenshots, and all that. And this time, it's like, there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And... And the reason why I feel this is scary, because... Scary as well as a change in the wind. Um, when it comes down to this stuff, because uh, you know, I was reading about some, reading you know, some of the journalist sites, and the reason why they never reported it because they said the same thing I said. Like, there's no, you know, there's there's no information, there's no evidence, there's, there's nothing. In fact, it there's nothing, and on top of all this stuff, on top of everything being nothing. Twitch did pay this dude. They paid this dude and unbanned him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they went to trial. They settled. He got paid. Mm -hmm. He got unbanned. Supposedly, he got unbanned. And he just decided never to go back to Twitch. So, and how everyone, and I wrote in a tweet, and my tweet, I made it pretty, pretty simple. Did this happen seven years ago or did this happen seven days ago? Because cause this is how the people are treating it. It's hard to have an opinion on something with so many plot holes. Yeah. Yeah. I just I feel kind of confused. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh I felt confused too because, you know, the next oh. statement... Because the next statement I said in my tweet was, uh, or my ex, was, you know, streamers low-key try to get minors to watch them all the time. I suppose that is a big market. Yeah. More of them, they got more time. Yeah, and it's like, the majority of content, the majority of streamers and content creators are making shit for children. Not for adults or grown people. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at a thumbnail for a lot of videos, oh, God, I'm glad i never done this because I feel like it's stupid. <laughs> like, the, the, all the faces and all uh, the colors. Every, reaction video. Everything is a bit um, extreme. It yeah. It doesn't feel... Um, like, it's different if you naturally extra, but I feel like for a lot of these people, it's like, no, this is working for this person, so now we all have to do the same voice. It's yes. Just, you know. Yes, because, and, you know, I, I want to, like, tag my um, my boss in two weeks Pokemon because, I, I, the, like, the question is for, because most of these guys are adults and playing a role. When does, um, so at what age when you, when you stop playing a role and start being yourself? Because. That's never for some people. Yeah, because yeah. like some of these guys are well into their thirties. Like, Mr. Dr. Dr. Disrespect, I'm like 42 right now. Mm. And he's still, and he's still playing the character, but he's not on the news much because he's on YouTube. Right. Um, but for our, 
but and before like I wrote like I wrote original tweets like when asking the question like when does like people drop the role and like what is the appropriate age to stop trying to curate to children because most of the stuff is like created just for them like just to get them in the room because you know we just talked about it the other day like you know like about my nephew right about like because my nephew felt a certain way when i told him that yeah you know start like you know certain certain like certain videos and stuff is just designed for people like you you know they're simple they're basic yeah yeah simple basic and colorful he felt a little way about it like 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 he was like like he's dumb i'm like no you're, you're fine you're a kid but that's just how it is well it's just that yeah once you, if you have a certain amount of life experience you're gonna relate more to certain things than like someone who's older yeah because you're not dealing with the same issues so and while like some of your interests will cross pollinate, there's gonna be specific things that are gonna appeal to teenagers because those are the big issues that you deal with at those milestones. So yeah, and for some of these guys, it seems like they're still doing stuff like they're teenagers or for teenagers. I mean, and yeah, there's I, nothing necessarily wrong with that in and of itself like if you think about like mr rogers for example yeah he made children's fucking shit yeah. his whole damn life but he ain't go out and like be sexting fucking eight-year-olds like won't you play with my wiener like he wasn't <laughs> doing that so it was fine it's it's this other shit like yeah you can want to uh, entertain a particular audience yeah. or a particular hobby or whatever the fuck you're into. Like, for myself, I know a lot of the shit I'm into, there's not a lot of people my age doing that shit. Yeah. So, it's like doing it in and of itself is going to appeal to a certain age group just because that's who's doing it. But then again, you never know that just by your presence, you may inspire some people your age to also do it or get back into it. Yeah. So, yeah, it just depends on all that extra shit. Like, yeah. You know, it's not cool to be a pedophile. Like, yeah. By the same. Use that to groom people and do weird shit. Yes. Oh. And and that language and that and those type of words were thrown towards, you know. Not the disrespect, even though. How is he grooming? If we don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, there's no I evidence. Feel like, you need something. You need someone coming forward. Look, look, look. This is Caucasian problems, okay? Now, you know, black folks. Hey, where are the receipts? Where are the receipts? Yeah, you gotta have at least I, one. I would like to see something. Yes. Not. Oh man, you know. Yes, he did it because that's because yeah, there's no age. There's nothing about the so-called minor. For all we know, this is this could be a catfish because catfish it at the time happen. because catfish still yeah it's still happening. But catfish was pretty big and new-ish around 2017. I say new ish. Yeah, yeah, people got good at that catfish and by then a little bit better. Well, They're yeah. Shoving off for a little while. Well, yeah, but yeah, that's, but you know, at, but at the same time, you were one of the most popular streamers on Twitch. You probably talking to people on Whispers all day because Discord wasn't even hot at the time. You know, I think Discord was somewhat just starting up. But it wasn't big, big like it is now. Well, so, it makes sense that, yeah, he's going to interact with his fan base. Yeah. That's kind of something that's required. Yeah. And, and you know, these conversations these conversations between them probably happen. And for all we know, 
because because it seemed like there was probably some plot. There was a lot of talk. There was some some plot, and nothing happened. Everything fell flat. And a couple of years later, you know, you find out. Oh yeah, he was talking to a minor. He probably didn't even know it was a minor. I think. Um, I think. If you don't know, she would make sure the conversation stays squeaky clean. Because there's ways to find out people's age. Like, I just don't understand why people don't do their due diligence, especially when you have so much to lose. Like, you can't afford to be a dumbass. Like, you're too known. Yeah. You got deals to lose. You need to, like, really be seeing motherfuckers' ID cards and shit. Whoa. Doing their live scan. Whoa. I need your Whoa. fingerprint information. <laughs> Whoa. Well, as I said, as I said, like everything's so vague, and so many people jump to the clu- like the conclusion because all the people around the same time got banned. They got banned. They were there was a paper trail. There was a victim, right. and all that. Whereas him, this is just a Russian bot. Yeah, know. like no one knows, and you know, no one knows, and he even he didn't know. So, for all we know. And because the only, I think uh, when I saw a lot of the, some of the, like, I, 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 I passed by uh, Dextroy or whatever and read one, read some of the reactions to uh, other streamers and I'm like, man. Because everyone got the little shots and every, all the, all these guys, their uh, reaction was pretty, uh, you know what, basic. <laughs> Yeah. None of them were like, you know what? I, I, it, none of them, they were all dumb. They were pretty basic, the most GD simplest shit. Hey, I studied a whole day for my GD. Yeah. Oh, uh, damn it, a whole day. <laughs> No, I think the I think the only person that actually had like a legitimate response was his friend. Yeah. Which he he he, he said the he said the only thing that I think all these guys are supposed to say mm-hmm. is they was gonna have a reaction to it. It's like, well, it's one thing to like talk to a minor, but it's another thing talking to a minor and knowing they are a minor. Because I think I agree. Yeah. Because I think Because you can't there's not enough on Twitch for you to really be able to know. Yeah. You'd be talking to anybody. Yes, because because and I'm like I'm gonna talk to people on Whispers and Discord before, um, just regular talk. But like I'm pretty much like a wall, and more um, more on the business side. Like I keep it pretty much business. And try not. Actually, I've always been like that. Actually, um, I think you even know that from. I think we messed each other in the past, and my message. I'm not even sure you remember them. Yeah, I'm pretty simple, basic, boring. I think you were boring. You're just normal. That's boring. Okay. I guess that was normal then. Boring now. Okay, still pretty normal. I, I don't know. <laughs> True. Yes. But, um, and before I go to the next thing, uh, because the next thing is going to make you laugh. Oh. Um, because this is, this is serious in E minor. Um, because I only find it scary that anyone can just pop up and say, no, no, this is because it's the internet. Well, I guess I will find it to be a problem because it's like they can just do all this and you can have real consequences without having even a paper trail. Yeah. Like, you would expect at least some type of, like, concrete evidence, but it doesn't some... seem like that's the case. No. Like, there's, like, n- there's nothing. And it's a possibility the reason why like Twitch like paid up and kept quiet and all in all of this is because of like yeah, it might have been like 
like you know oh they pull you know what, what was it they pull the rug up or or the wool over their eyes yeah like you know like this like this dude did not because this dude did not go because it doesn't sound like this dude went out looking for minors otherwise and that's another thing when these things come up like there is like at least a line of women or other victims or other people wherever they're called they have similar stories and with this as of right now there is nothing yeah yeah, usually everyone just say, oh, this happened to me. This happened to me. Oh, that's you too. This happened to me. But this was the first time where it was like. Should we cut the light off? Can't see me. No. So that they can see. Yeah, they yeah, can't yeah, see. Yeah. So you know you doing, but they ain't see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah everybody's blind. <laughs> What did you see when you betrayed you? <laughs> okay, actually, that was a good amount of time to talk about. It. Okay, the next one is going to be awesome. Yay! Yes, yeah, awesome. The, yes, the the Phil and Bridge super salty awesome hour. Okay, this might not even be an hour, but this came from JJK. I want you to read it. You want me to read this? Oh God, let me get my energy drink. So before you read it, so so before you read this, no, before you read this, I just want to let you. No spoilers. No, no, already, already, you can't see it. All right. No, so you can you can put your head up. No. But basically. Tuck my neck at all times. But basically, um, no matter what, um, I'm going to I'm going to side with the wife. On this one. I want to side with the wife. And be like. You know. I don't blame them for what they're doing. It is hilarious. It's fucked up. But. You're not here. And you haven't been here. And. The next guy is already living in the spot. The fuck. (laughs) So here you go. Read that. Oh! <laughs> this is messy as hell. You want me to read this for real? If you want. If you don't, I will. If anybody is in contact with Caruso or Alita, can you ask them to stop selling my possessions on eBay? That would be great. This is one of many. It's stolen. Yeah, keep going. This was a birthday gift from my parents. Thanks. Okay. Shout out to Beast. Damn, yeah, that's kind of wrong. You sell all your retro shit, nigga. $24.99. Yeah, not even selling it for like, you know... What shit is worth? That's like the real kick in the nut. Okay, so so here's you got the, all to be. He, he saw that. He, 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 saw that. He, he, he might. He might. Okay, so here's here's the best part of this whole thing. It's stolen. Now. Now, I wonder, what, 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 you saw me in your head? Why is that the best part that it's stolen? Yes. So. And he's saying they stole his shit. Okay. So, yes. So, he's saying that it's stolen. He's been living in South America for almost two years now. The new dude done moved in. It doesn't sound like he's coming back home or to his former home. And all this shit. It's still in the home. And I think after a certain amount of date, a certain amount of time, if you haven't came and got your shit, especially if you're not in the country anymore, 
It's like how 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 can he steal something that's been left in the house? And it's not like you live across town where you can come over there and get it. It's like you're in another country and you've been there, and you don't have plenty of time to get your shit. Too busy dealing with that. The spicy, spicy, spicy salsa. <laughs> <laughs> and, and while that's okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, and while that's and why that is true, <laughs> it's like the new dude the move from Canada had enough time to move from Canada. Me. Bitch, you be careful if you were successful. That's why I ain't trying to be shit. I ain't trying to be shit. You can get the hell on out. You know, you know that's probably the best thing about being uh, just just Black. in the back. No, no, no. Just in the background. Just in the background. I can't. Be, I can't even. You can't even. I can't even say. Oh, that's. Oh, it's good to be black because when I see other, like you know, top streamers like respond to like uh, the, the doctor, uh, the disrespect allegation. I'm like, man, this is some man a shit. <laughs> like you black. Like wait, a no, no, you're not black anymore. I think you're, you, I'm, I'm not sure you're black anymore. I think you're more curated for these Caucasians to keep thing going. Oh, like Steve Urkel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, because it's like, because if you, because like, <laughs> but, but, you know, given that, you know, given you're in a certain position, you got to, um, uh, keep that, um, uh, that that front going because you know if this is a black person and you know other black people could say say the same thing like hey we need evidence <laughs> you know there's not a a cop came in beat the dude down spring some spring some crack on him and say yeah he's a drug dealer <laughs> <laughs> you, like you know you know you know this you know I think I think I think the whole uh, white man being in a powerful position and then he be take down is I think they, I think the people have gone a little bit overboard with it with this one and um also um yo I believe they end up sell, selling that techno motion I'm gonna try to take that I mean it's because it, it's, it's I'm pretty sure it's still there. Bro. <laughs> oh, to make things. Oh, 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 to make things better. You even see, you, Dang, you, you, why? Why are you even concerned with this, bro? I do it. Like you, you been with oh. another bitch. Oh, yeah, but oh, but you see the you see the name here. What that shit say? What that shit say? The dude's a seller. Ah! That's it. Ah! It ain't. All over your mega drive. <laughs> Nothing on your mega drive, nigga. Nothing all over your mega drive. I'm gonna take a mega drive, nigga. <laughs> your game, genie ain't cleanie. Touch him with his weenie. <laughs> Tweet us so like everybody else. So 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 here's the situation. Um, 
I did not know this. What? It don't seem like Sean got many friends. Like, like, it seems like he's not white. <laughs> and it's weird because I just found this out recently on, um, on the Rhythm Game uh, Discord. Is he not white? It seemed like, like, this a like, like, I, I, I did not even know this. Like, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that, and, and apparently it's, it's on him, he done shit. Like done, really? well done. As holy thing, like look, look, don't. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. Yeah, and like, I can't, like, I can't really judge. I mean, only guy. I can't judge either, but I also know I'm a female, and sometimes that helps. I mean, sometimes it hurts, but yeah. sometimes it helps because dudes will be nicer to you because you're a female. Yeah, but um. You, you, yeah, like he because I mean Sean's internationally known, but yeah, he got a lot. He got apparently he got a lot of he done pissed off a lot of people somehow uh, with his opinions and reviews. So it's got kind of, a views like like what like video games. Well, yeah, he's still posting videos on his YouTube like even now going around going around doing reviews and doing doing shit like that like weekly. What like. Like I'm a review silent scope. No, like arcade reviews and this and other stuff. Like, oh, like the actual business establishment. Yeah, and like and, Yelp. Yeah, and like some games, like but you're still doing that stuff. But uh, there's some other there's some other stuff that other politics and stuff that I just don't know about. Um, hmm. Like, I wouldn't say that's necessarily a bad thing, but I guess it but, all goes but, in how you doing it. No, but yeah, this is some. He them run some people the wrong way where they're like passionately like, like don't like this dude. Oh, that doesn't mean you exist. Well, yes, but you know this post right here saying that's kind of funny because dude, is, his name is literally yeah. I didn't even notice that. That's hilarious. Yeah, so like, like his name is Lita. Yes, yeah, him like, selling. You notice that dude? Just contact him. Be like, hey, can you just send me my shit? You know, I'll pay for the postage. I'm sorry I left it there. Shit. I ain't sorry. I guess not. Sometimes people leave shit so they have something to... Like, I don't know. Only motherfuckers that be in shit know what the fuck went on and what the fuck goes on. Okay. Hold on. Let me see you kind of find this shit. What? Oh, hell no. It'd be so dope if I can. No. (laughs) No, we're not. Uh, uh. Oh my God. Okay. Sega Mega Drive Gut No Manual. Uh, I mean, unless it's already been taken down. I'd be so sad. Why would you be sad? No, because I want to see all everything else you sell. I might buy some. Oh my God, what? <laughs> this game ain't worth that much. That's so what you saying. He shouldn't even be bitching about this. Well, I mean, this they were. <laughs> I mean, he got it from his parents, sure. That, <laughs> but like, you know, I'm seeing like oh, fifteen good. bucks, twenty eight bucks. Okay, fifteen. That's not too much, but I guess it's sentimental value. Oh, let me see. Damn it. Damn it, man. Yeah. Not gonna find it. It's probably got taken now. Hmm. Yeah, because like everything yeah, and yeah, it doesn't seem like it's worth all that much. I mean it's worth a lot to him because his parents got it got it. I don't know the status of his parents. Uh, if they're dead or alive, but yeah, you can't leave your shit with um, nobody. No, because they're not gonna care about it like you do. Yes. 
And it's been like two years. So, man, no manual. All y'all got no man? No, no manual. Just beasting. Just beasting. Wizards. Like, right now, I'm just trying to find his eBay. Well, you have his name. You just look for his name in eBay. Would that work? Yes. I thought he only, I thought he only uh, showed shit, not the actual seller. Yeah, like, that shit like this auction, buy it now, delivery no, auction. No, you Google their name, their username in eBay. See, I was about to do that. Yeah, I thought that's what you were doing. Why would you use Google or eBay as an engine? No. See, okay. Hold up. I have to verify that. Oh, God damn it. Uh, wait, wait. How to find eBay seller by name. It says use eBay search with seller username or seller ID. Oh, no, man. Hello, up. Okay, okay, this one's 22 years. I apologize, this is an old question, but seeing like, seeing the final answer years ago, I could find people on eBay. Not so easy now. I had some friends who are sellers that I lost touch with and want to see the advance, blah, blah. Use whatever information you have to get the seller username or store name with, with the username or store name. Advanced search and search for store item. God damn it. That sounds like a lot. Yes, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but um, but to get back to to using your super library skills to find this profile. Da, well, da, okay. Da, 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 black man in the library. <sighs> but um, okay. So in this situation that involves uh, Sean, because. I almost feel like you... It's kind of hard to feel anything for this situation. The fact that, you know, he's saying that it, it's stolen. It's stolen in a house that you moved out of but left all your shit there. I mean, I feel like... I think after a certain amount of days, like 90 days, come get your shit... Well, I would have took all my stuff when I initially left, so I wouldn't have to go back. Like, once you kind of know you're not coming back, you get your shit out. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Especially, y'all already fucking other people. Then your shit should be out by then, don't you think? Yeah. And, but this is why... It's not like it's a machine. It's like a game that fits in a suitcase, a box. Oh man, I'm pretty sure he got plenty of retro games. Um, yeah, he got, he got. This is not a, a difficult fix. I feel like. Well, it's not, but unless you know, it's not really about that. Uh, well, I mean, he did leave all the shit over there. Well, that was kind of on him. Yeah. Because um, and because I don't know much about this. Um, because yeah, I thought he already moved out all this shit. Oh yeah, by now. Yeah, and um, you know, because he was already yeah, he sold off some of his games and all that. Um. You know, back before all the shit went down. So, like, when I was trying to buy his beat mania and all that. Mm. So, um... But, yeah, do I... Do I... And, like, I'm, I'm... I'm glad I don't be going on... Like, social media to... See what else Sean is posting. Also, this is probably driving me nuts. What? Well... This sort of thing? Well, if I was in this position... 
well, one, I wasn't, wouldn't leave my shit. I would just get my shit and put it in storage or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, but leaving all my shit there and don't know their arrangements because they are still married. Yeah, and... Dude, what? Well, yeah. So how that work? I'm still wondering how this works. And how he's in another country. That's all confusing. Yes, it's all a mess. I mean, because I mean, you do you realize that there was an actual divorce divorce? I think this wouldn't even be a situation. He would actually have to get his shit out since it's her house. I mean, it was her house before they were married. They got a prenup. I don't know, but well, if they don't. That may not necessarily matter. Even with the house? Even with uh, her having a house before him? Because I thought with the prenup, everything is involved. But no, if they don't have a prenup. I thought the prenup involved uh, stuff that you got when you were married. I said if they don't have a prenup yeah. at all, that means they have no. I will make you understand. I will make you understand. Oh yeah, yeah. If you right. got an agreement, then generally it's already laid out. Usually it's like, okay, well, if such and such doesn't happen, and this person cheats, then you could leave. With the, yeah, so, so it just. Uh, Kind so, of so tries pretty, to so make I, it more fair. Oh, so I, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure there's no prenup or anything of that matter. There's also a postnup that you can do after you marry. You can do one of those. I don't even think I would, would have done all of that. Oh. Then I don't know. Yeah. It's so, hard so, to say. I yeah, guess so, it just yeah. depends on how so, petty people is. It's so all like how I'm pretty sure this guy didn't even never saw the fact that his shit will start will start getting sold off. Um, yeah, probably not. He probably thought his stuff was good sitting there. Yeah, but that's why people are supposed to communicate, not just leave, remove people in. Is why you. You settle that stuff. They ain't move people in. Like a paint by numbers. Oh, yeah. It's going in the wrong order, but I guess we all go in the wrong order with something. Sometimes, shit. <laughs> but, you know what? We're going to stop here. It's been 48 minutes, and it's almost midnight over here. What was that? A mouth fart. Get this out of here. Okay. Well, if you guys would like to buy Shadow of the Beast on eBay, uh, it is a whopping twenty four ninety nine. Uh, get that, cop that for your Mega Drive today. <laughs> if you don't buy that, it's over. No, no, and there's no manual. It's being. Uh, no manual, gut, gut, no manual. Yeah, that's it. It's like he basically put up a commercial for his eBay by sharing this. Why would you? Why? I wish I could find a goddamn eBay. I'm and, interested. And put a link. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. Man, I probably gotta ask JJK for a link. Like, hey man, can he find one of his posts? Like, I want to support. <laughs> I'm so messy. Oh, God. I want to put in my support. Uh. Like, like Sean's a good dude, but... Hey, Sean's a good dude to me. But, you know, if I can just, you know, contribute...
He's a good dude to me, but I'm about to fucking buy his whole library. <laughs> hey, look, was one man's the well, one one one, man's one actually, actually, about to be my loot. Actually, one one woman's junk is another man's treasure, <laughs> and I think that's how she seen it. And one man treasure is another man treasure. Or another man a uh, bank. <laughs> and another man treasure. All right, we are out of here. Night.